أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Brothers and sisters, Allah SWT has given us an amazing Quran and in it amazing ayat. In one of them, Allah SWT says in Surah Al-Ghafir, Ayat 39, يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا مَطَاعٌ وَإِنَّ الْآخِرَةَ هِيَ دَارُ الْفَرَارِ O oh my people, the worldly life is only a fleeting enjoyment. Whereas the hereafter is truly the home, that will remain forever. Meaning the world is insignificant, brothers. Short, it will go quickly. Everything here will end except our good deeds. Your name will be gone in a matter of seconds. Immediately after death, which will occur to everyone in this room, you will be called a mayat, a lash, a kaman, a, kaf- uh, a kafan, or a kaman. And even your family will forget you in a few decades. How many of you know the face or the name of your great grandfather? They're gone. In another 70, 80 years old, nobody will know your face. But the life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised the believers, that will never end. There will be no, no departure from there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of this dunya, has made it only for one purpose. That's it, just one simple purpose, and that is to test us. As he says, in Surah Al-Anbiya, Ayah 35, Kullu nafsin Every soul will taste death. And then he says, that when we test all your humanity with good and evil as a trial, then to us, you will be all returned. So everyone will die, everyone will, is being tested while they are here on earth. Just like any test to examine this world, when you're giving it for some, some degree, what is it like? It's just temporary. And it ends exactly the same way this, this dunya is a test and it will end. <laughs> and depending how you perform the test, you will get your final destination. That's why the Messenger of Allah sallam, said, What have I to do with the dunya? My likeness of the world are like a rider who rests in the shade of a tree and then departs and leaves it. So I'm sure all of you at one time or other have traveled for three to four hours on a holiday somewhere. And while you're traveling, you stop on the services for 10 minutes. Yeah? Just like that. It's a short duration compared to what Akhira is like. Therefore, brothers, this Qurba today is to remind us do not build a world here that you will get attached to. It is temporary. When you get to too much attached to the people in this world, when you start using the family, the comforts, the clothes, the houses, the cars, the women, and the children, all of these are ornaments. So do not get too much attached to them. Because then you will lose sight of what is the reason why you're here, why you're in this test, your final destination. When someone used to visit the companions and the right acting people, they would ask, Where are your household things? Are you traveling somewhere? Are you going somewhere? Are you moving somewhere? Because they would have so much little in the house. Well, it does not mean that if you're blessed with a lot, you should be living in a cave. It means that you must not get attached to what you have and not lose focus from the final destination. A companion, Nabi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, used to say, the world, the world is traveling away and Akhira is traveling towards us. Meaning, from us, this world is retreating, it is diminishing, it is getting shorter. And every second, Akhira is getting closer. And so there is less time to do good deeds. And the further you get from achieving Akhara, the further away you get from being with your Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and what can be a greater loss than this? Al Hassan al Basri, Rabbatullah said, the mu'min in the world in the world is like a stranger. If he is not, if he is not impatient about being humble in it and does not compete for its precious things, he has a business. And other people have other businesses. So our business is acquiring Akhara. Forget what everybody else is doing. Just get busy in this business. 
So every day, live as if you will not see the night. Every night when you go to sleep, live as if you are not going to see the morning. Every salah you should do as if it is your last. Every good deed that you do, make sure that it is so much of good intention, it gets accepted 100% because you may not get that chance again. The message of Allah sallam, said, pray the salah of one who is taking leave, meaning of this world. Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, that Allah's Messenger وسلم, took hold of my shoulder and said, Be in this world as if you were a stranger or a traveler. And this hadith is a basic source that suggests that have little wishful thinking of this world. And the believer should not take this world as his home, land, and residence or become rest in it. But should be as if he's about on a point of departure. As if you would leave any time, any moment it will occur and you'll be gone. So every moment that you're spending is such that the next moment won't be there. So you should get busy trying to get akhirah. And start preparing the equipment for the journey, for the next journey. That should be the only intention. The time is flying. It was you know, a, few, a few weeks ago, about seven weeks ago, it was 2024, already we are in mid-February. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said about time, there are two blessings of which many people are cheated. Two blessings of which many people are cheated. And they are health and free time. So hasten to do good deeds and prepare for Akhara. Remember that you may have money today and tomorrow you may not have money to give for the money. Today you have health. You can go to the mosque. You can go for your umrahs and your hajjahs. Tomorrow you may get you fall sick or ill and you may, may not be able to do it. So don't delay. There is very little time. <clears throat> Allah says in Surah Al-Anam, Ayah 158, Are they awaiting the coming of the angel? Or the Lord himself? Or some of your Lord's major signs? Then Allah says, On the day your Lord's signs arrive, belief will not Benefit those who do not believe earlier or those who do not do good things in their faith. And then he says, Mocking the people who are waiting, tell them to keep waiting. We are also waiting. Allah says in Surah Abu Maya 8, Have they not reflected upon their own being? Allah has created the heavens and the earth and everything in between. For a purpose and an appointed term, yet most people are truly in the line of the meeting of their Lord. So we need to wake up and not stay in that line. So the Peter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the weaker even of those people who do not stay ignorant and start acquiring things in this world so that we can reach after them. <laughs> Let us keep moving forward as much as we can. We are going to just put into the problem. Alhamdulillah, Salatu wa Salam ala Rasulullah. So let's go on a journey. So imagine you're now traveling to another country from foreign country for sightseeing purposes for a bit of a holiday. You take with you those things that will help you in that journey so that you do not get lost and reach your final destination, which is your homeland. And that too without any difficulty. Meaning these are things given to us before we have started our journey. And when you are traveling for that small amount of time through that foreign land, Whatever you pick up or collect, you should do it in such a way with great care to make sure that that thing helps you get back to your homeland and does not get you to any other place except your homeland. It does not let you see, see sight of your true destination, your homeland. These are the good deeds that you collect on your path and avoiding the sins. And no matter with whom you interact in that foreign land while you're there for a few times, 
You are careful. Of course you are. Because you may not know their language. Meaning you may not know their true intentions. So keep your interaction limited so they do not affect you in such a way that you lose sight of where you are heading your home life. And if you are about to get lost or having any type of trouble because of, of that you may lose the path, the path to your final destination, what do you do? You start looking for those people or you join that group who looks like they are trying to get back to the same homeland as you are heading. So brothers and sisters, this life of this dunya is just like that. With the start of your journey, Allah SWT has already given us the weapons, the taqwa and the iman in our hearts. That yearns for Jannah. And we seek the right guidance from the holy books, the messengers, the scholars. And when you are traveling through it, you also try to collect the good deeds and try to stay away from sin and those things which will affect your path. And try to stay and try to those people who want the same result as you do. That is acquiring Jannah. There should be no other concern for that person who is traveling in this dunya. So the person who is traveling to this dunya should be either in one of two states. Either he should be as if he were a stranger, resident in a foreign country. So either he is like a stranger, residing in a foreign country who is concerned to gather provision for the journey back to his homeland. <laughs> or he should be as if he were traveling, or he, he was a traveler who is not resident at all, but who night and day is traveling to a land where he resides. These are the only ways that we need to be traveling in this dunya, making sure that we are collecting only for our Umar Abdul Abdul Aziz said in his khutbah, the world is not the abode for you to settle in. Allah has decreed end for it and has decreed for its people departure from it. So take, so take traveling provisions. These are things that you carry with yourself. And he said, what is the best traveling provision? That is taqwa. That is one thing that will always help you. Whatever you do, try to achieve taqwa in all the deeds that you do. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم